Okay, I'm just going to talk really close to it. Like, That's because... good. Stay there because we, for our next topic, have some serious business to attend to. Some okay. real hardcore happenings going on here. Um, can you tell the audience anything um, that you happen to know? Who, who is Tom Sachs? Who is this guy? Tom Sachs is a contemporary artist um, who does uh, sculpture work primarily. Mm -hmm. Do you want to pull up one of his pieces? Maybe that's uh, a fantastic idea. A great idea. Just in case you guys were wondering, Tom Sachs is a contemporary artist. Uh, and he is known for doing, yeah, like sculptural or physical like pieces. Um. And here's some. We're looking at some right now. It kind of looks like uh, like found items, kind mm -hmm. of like uh, what um, what's his name? Uh, so found items like they that was a, a art style in the uh, mid 20th century, where it's just like objects and replacing them mm -hmm. uh, in this kind of setting, uh, and then they have like a, a sculptural base. But why are you asking me about fine art? I don't well. get it. I'm glad you asked. It's because, you know, let me just hop right on over to this tab called The Sick Abusive World of Tom Sachs. <laughs> Are you surprised? Um, I'm not surprised by any contemporary, successful contemporary artist being a sick weirdo, a yeah, sick freak. Exactly. So former workers reveal a culture of rampant mistreatment at the artist's studio. And I read through this. We don't need to go through point by point, but there's a lot of weird stuff. Um, they describe a, a cult-like atmosphere. Um, yeah. They describe swastikas and weird stuff, despite Tom Sachs, I think, being Jewish. Um, they describe in, a, in the basement they had a rape room that then they started calling a consent room. Oh, um, boy. Parading, um... throwing things at subordinates verbal abuse basically all the the naturals when men get power and then abuse that power you know yeah i think that something that i didn't know about and i thought was funny reading the article was mm -hmm. how it mentions that tom sack's wife is the former like director of the gagosian gallery and that's just hilarious because mm -hmm. if for anybody who doesn't know i forget his first name but gagosian is like the most prominent like um, contemporary art dealer. He mm -hmm. is the uh, kingmaker in that space. He has probably an oversized monopoly. And it just goes to show, of course, of course that guy's wife is like the <laughs> director of his galleries. So like, that's an easy win. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I know this isn't an art podcast. I, fashion is art kind of, mm -hmm. but I have this pet theory about, Anybody who's a successful artist, they are 50% just a social climber. They are mm -hmm. a social butterfly, and that is their whole je ne sais quoi. Like, yeah, from what I understand, and I'm like, I will be the first to admit, I'm like not really a fine art person. I'm more like music, film, clothing, that kind of stuff. So fine art never maybe. been my thing. But from what I understand, right, maybe more than any other artistic pursuit it's very much about getting like patronage and kind of getting the cosign from the wealthy because your industry only exists to really launder money through you for them uh it's a very weird world right yes yes a hundred percent and i mean like just to name a few pablo picasso Everybody thinks Pablo was a pretty good artist. Mm -hmm. He was notably, other than all the um, the uh, consent that he did with various women and prostitutes, mm -hmm. um, he was known for being very much a social climber. And and I think that if you if you consider like, would he have been successful if he wasn't? No, mm -hmm. one hundred percent not. At right. least not in his lifetime. Nobody would have ever known him. Yeah. Uh, Francis Bacon, and of course, I'm talking about the founder of the scientific method. No, I'm talking about the artist, Francis Bacon. Uh, he was also notably uh, a very uh, electric personality in like parties. He was always drawing attention to himself, despite being very depressed, IRL, <laughs> and an alcoholic. Uh, artists, again and again, when you look Who at artists, right? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. Uh, artists who are successful in their own life are almost always very good at uh, making moves. And it's just, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. If you thought it was a, uh, if you thought it was based on their talent, then think again. No, no, no. I'm curious to see, like the fallout, because he had uh, the Mars Yard sneaker with Nike that's like super, super rare. They just did the general purpose shoe, I think it's called, which was like a a general release shoe essentially that is being sold everywhere. So probably very profitable for both entities um it's weird it's almost it's not quite at the kanye level but it's kind of on a similar ish wavelength where it's like when do you become too big to fail and when do you do things that are so crazy that it outweighs you being too big to fail you know yeah a hundred percent i mean like and i talked about this i had a whole video about kanye he yeah. for a long time was like this is a, a person who doesn't know when to keep their mouth shut, but we love them and we keep coming back. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know what could actually destroy an, your infinite amount of like goodwill? It's saying I love Hitler. It's like right. earnestly meaning it and saying that you love Hitler. That will destroy any uh, any goodwill you've ever had. Um, Can but, we just like, be like real controversial here for a second? No. And maybe just dissect, yes. Uh, okay. Cowboy started us off. He wasn't spicy enough. You know, you said he was going to get us canceled, but he didn't. So now I've got to do it. Why does it seem like these canceled celebrities, abusive celebrities, whatever, are always anti-Semitic? You um, know what I like? What, what the hell is going on here? Nice. Hey, Killian, nice try, buddy. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say Jack. All right. <laughs> um, I assume it's because something is wrong in their brains. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it's like, why, why, why would you, the, the, who has been repressed for longer than the Jews? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't. So I will legitimately say, I know I live in the Northeast as do you. I have met one anti-Semitic person openly, at least in my entire life. There was a literal Nazi that I went to high school with in my public high school. One in my 31 years of life. And then it seems like every famous person who it turns out is abusive is a Nazi. So you know, Killian, you're you're a uh, you're a DIY hardcore punk. Did yeah. you tell him Nazi punks fuck off? Did you say that to him? I tried to tell him. I tried to yeah. tell him, but then he was like, "Hey, but Screwdriver, uh, their first album's actually really sick." So, and so what? So like, did you? Did you win in that case or was uh, he like know, it was kind of a, it was kind of a stalemate? No, that's just what like all Nazis say. They, they like they really like Screwdriver. Well, Screwdriver was a good album. It's like, shut up, you idiot. <laughs> you don't get it. Um, the last thing I'll say on this Tom Sachs thing, and it's really not even Tom Sachs related, is if we're taking bets on the weirdo cult leading artist pool. Um, I will take Daniel Arsham, please. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. <laughs> I bet he's going to be like, he's a psycho. He dips people in white plaster and like he makes people like parade around them. <laughs> he, yeah, he seems like, um, uh, uh, we got Z who's getting all upset in the comments. Like uh, he loves I mean, that he guy. Like, he, he buries his production assistants in his Zen garden. Like, God damn. Yeah. I, I could believe it. I could believe it. Um, uh, let me think. Jeff Koons, I think probably, mm. but that's not even surprising. Right. That right. is kind of like, yeah, so what? Uh, tell me something I don't know. Um, who else is a contemporary artist who's on the on the the next list? You know, they tried mm. to cancel. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, to artists in the seventies. He would did hyper realism drawings. Uh, and, um, I'm sure people are yelling at their screens, trying to remind me his name. Uh, and he did the pointillism sort of stuff. Damn. I, I'm sorry. Pointillism, this... but also Paul Hollywood. Not Paul. No, but Paul Hollywood. Did you hear he got me too? Paul Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah. He got no. me too. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, what do you think that, that handshake that he does? <laughs> you think that that's normal? He got me too'd hard. Oh no. 
we're I, I, I guess we're not getting we're not getting names for your no seventies uh, like artists. No, so there are people who could tell me the the Paul Hollywood thing is a joke that I have with um, my my uh, love interest Caroline. We just whenever somebody mentions Paul Hollywood, we say, "Oh my God, he got me too." Because he <laughs> seems like he would, you know, he seems like he's just ready to get me too. He's too he's too confident. Um. Come on. What is the Chuck Close? Chuck Close. Oh, it was even in the chat. Yes. So Chuck Close. And mind you, uh, he was a a, an art. I I, I, I'm I you know, I hope I'm not saying that he's dead and he's still alive. That would be kind of. (laughs) Um, But keep in mind, about halfway through his life, he uh, suffered uh, an injury or an illness where he basically was paralyzed. Mm. Uh, And but he continued to create art. And um, as of recently, he is either well into old age or he might have passed and I'm forgetting. But there was like accusations that he was uh, maybe in, inappropriate with his um, his uh, staff. I and I don't know why I'm bringing this up. <laughs> um, I just always think like, could he have been? I guess you could. It doesn't matter if you're like in a wheelchair. You, there's- right, right, right. Blank said that he passed away in 2021. People, this is not like a all-encompassing thing by any means. I'm not saying this is a generalization, but certain people will have like literal health issues or mental health issues, whatever, and will almost like use them as cover to, to hide behind and act inappropriately, I feel like, you know? Like, like, um, Kanye? Kind of. I mean, yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. Or at least, yeah. like, I don't think, I don't know that he necessarily would lean on it, but his fans, absolutely. Yes. I just feel like, yeah, he, 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 you can't blame him for anything because he is, you know, whatever he is. I, you know what? I would like to take this moment to say to everybody listening in the mm-hmm. podcast and everybody in the world that I am quasi sorry about the extremely anti Semitic marks that I made. But the reality is that I have ADHD and um, it's, that's it. You know, it's not even my fault that that's I said really, those things. Really brave uh, new and, wear of you to say. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just trying mm-hmm. to raise awareness that I have a disease and I can't be held responsible for bad things that I say. <laughs> but if I do anything good, mind you, you can accredit it to my my unique brain. So, so I have IBS, and sometimes oh. when I go poopy real quickly, and I'm reaching for the TP, I accidentally trip and fall on boobies. Oh my god, happened. dude! Yeah. Oh, clip that. So that clip that's that. Why that happened? Um, that is the most outrageous thing you've said in the seven episodes that we've done together. <laughs> 